the showdown between South Park and the sultry voice superstar. In the ever-evolving world of entertainment, where the line between reality and satire often blurs, a recent episode of the iconic animated series South Park has managed to stir up quite a commotion. The target of its biting wit? None other than the chart-topping, Grammy-winning sensation, Harry Styles. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. It all began with a seemingly innocuous episode of South Park, where the show's writers and creators, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, decided to turn their sights on the young pop phenom. The resulting parody was a no-holds-barred takedown of Styles' perceived obsession with awards and accolades, and it didn't take long for the real-life Styles to catch wind of the jabs. The South Park episode in question, titled The Stanley Cup, wasted no time in skewering Styles' image-conscious behavior and his relentless pursuit of critical acclaim. In the show, a character clearly modeled after the former One Direction member is shown going to extreme lengths to secure a Grammy Award even resorting to unscrupulous tactics like bribery and manipulation. One particularly memorable scene depicts the styles as character desperately pleading with the Grammy voters, please, I need this award. I need it to feel validated and important. The character is then shown going to absurd lengths, such as selling out his artistic integrity and even faking a medical emergency, all in the name of achieving award show glory. The South Park creator's scathing satire didn't stop there. Throughout the episode, the show's signature brand of irreverent humor is on full display, with the Styles parody being mercilessly mocked and ridiculed for his perceived vanity and self-importance. Unsurprisingly, the real-life Harry Styles was less than amused by the episode's portrayal of him. In a series of impassioned interviews, the pop star expressed his displeasure, calling out Parker and Stone for their unfair, and hurtful depiction of him. I just feel like they went too far, you know? Styles lamented in one particularly heated exchange. I mean, sure, I care about awards and recognition, but I'm an artist, damn it. I pour my heart and soul into my music, and to have these guys reduce it all to this shallow, award-chasing caricature, it just really stings, you know? Styles went on to defend his artistic integrity arguing that his pursuit of accolades was simply a byproduct of his deep-rooted desire to create meaningful, impactful art. It's not about the trophies for me, he insisted. It's about the connection, the emotion, the ability to touch people's lives through my music. But South Park, they just don't get it, man. They just see the shiny awards and the flashy red carpets, and they think that's all there is to it. The back and forth between South Park and Harry Styles has certainly captured the attention of the entertainment world, with fans and critics alike weighing in on the controversy. Some have argued that South Park's satire was a well-deserved skewering of Styles' perceived vanity, while others have defended the pop star, claiming that the show's portrayal was unfair and overly harsh. Look, I get that South Park is known for its no-holds-barred approach to satire, said one fan on an online forum but I think they really crossed a line here. Harry Styles is one of the biggest and most influential artists of our generation, and to reduce him to this pathetic, award-obsessed caricature, it just feels mean-spirited, you know? Another commentator, however, saw the South Park episode as a much-needed wake-up call for the music industry. Let's be real here, they wrote. The music biz is full of ego-driven, award-hungry artists who will stop at nothing to get that recognition. And Harry Styles, whether he likes it or not, is a prime example of that. South Park was just holding up a mirror to the industry, and if Styles doesn't like what he sees, maybe he needs to take a long, hard look at himself. As the debate rages on, one thing is clear. The showdown between South Park and Harry Styles has struck a chord with audiences around the world. The episode's biting satire has sparked conversations about the nature of artistic integrity, the power of celebrity, and the role of satire in a constantly evolving cultural landscape. For his part, Styles has vowed to continue his pursuit of musical excellence, undeterred by the South Park parody. At the end of the day, I know who I am and what I stand for, he declared. I'm not going to let a cartoon take that away from me. I'm going to keep making the music I love, and if the awards come, great. But if not, that's okay too. Because for me, it's always been about the art not the accolades. Whether Styles' defiant stance will ultimately resonate with fans and critics remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, 
The clash between South Park's irreverent wit and the pop star's impassioned defense has added yet another chapter to the ongoing dialogue about the role of satire in the modern age. As the dust settles and the debate continues, one can't help but wonder, what will be the next target of South Park's scathing parody? And will the show's creators once again manage to strike a nerve with their biting social commentary? Only time will tell, but one thing is clear. The world of entertainment has once again been shaken to its core.